All right, guys and girls, welcome to my channel. I'm uh, Norman Nova, and uh, I. This will be the first episode, I guess. I will make an introduction and tell you guys about my plans and a little bit about my bike. So the plan is to travel from Norway over to Morocco. And uh, we shall do that in approximately uh, 9, 10 days, I guess. Uh, 10 days, maybe? Yeah. Uh, it's on the 25th of May 2023 and uh, the plan I am currently doing is to travel from from Norway uh, from a city small city outside the capital of Norway Oslo and from there to another city in Norway called Larvik from there I will take the ferry and uh, and uh, then uh, it's onwards to to uh, heat salts in Denmark and uh, from there it's just a pretty swift ride to Spain so we'll be crossing uh, Germany Netherlands and uh, probably Belgium over to France France is pretty big actually and uh, ending up in Spain so we're going to a city called Tarifa in Spain uh, or the port I'm taking the ferry from because that seems to be the quickest option with only one hour uh, crossing and you get into the city itself so the bike uh, is a 2021 Honda CB500X. Uh, it's um, probably the smallest bike that I have ever had, and I'm not a big guy. I'm only 5'7", and I got like uh, a 29 inch or 30 inch inseam. and uh, so I will uh, I will try to uh, try to make it a brief here yeah and uh, the plan is pretty simple as you guys know and this bike is uh, pretty compact actually and I've done some modification to the bike itself to make it more uh, approachable and uh, easier to handle so let's get on with it I'll show you guys what I intend to do so here let me just stop here neutral up and off all right sorry about that Hey, it's a little bit dirty. Yeah, so hit the bike. Yes, uh, so well, let's start with the biggest. Uh, the crash bar is SRT, mm, SRC, sorry, SRC. And then you have a skid plate from the same company. You have uh, SV Motec Cobra handguards. You have uh, SV Motec Iron foot pegs. They are like adjusted in two ways. And then you have a protector for uh, the brake reservoir. You have uh, ABS protector for the ABS sensor. You have the same one on the back here. Then you have a exhaust shield from uh, Outback Motortech. You have generic like uh, uh, luggage rack. It's from China. Uh, this one is for uh, gravel T softbags from GV, the GRT 709. 
I don't know how they are, but I will use them on the trip. Shad cargo. This one is supposed to be compact, looks good on the bike, and you have a, like a cargo rack on the top. And then I'm using a GV 6 liter tank pack with a quick lock system. Uh, SP Motec for my cell phone, the main one, and then one for secondary. This one is uh, Oxford Heat Grips, and uh, this is like a touring one. This is like uh, uh, just to rest my arms, it's like $10 equipment. Adjustable levers which can uh, be bended. Uh, the auxiliary lights, as you can see, they are uh, mounted pretty close, but I like it that way. And uh, then I have a thicker rack for the phone from SRC because this one is the original is too small, so I bought a proper one. This is adjustable. This uh, rack for the windshield. It's original windshield, but the rack it's from AliExpress can be adjusted up and down, and uh, that way this one doesn't crash into that one. So that's uh, I guess about it. Uh, and also one thing which is very important, uh, I want to show you guys and I recommend doing is that over there you see the plug, the rubber plug. That's a 10 millimeter rubber plug, which is uh, which will prohibit uh, the water from getting into the engine uh, mount. Because these crash bars, they tend to get loose. And one of the reasons is that uh, there's a lot of water and dirt that goes into the, the hole over there. So I put a 10 millimeter plug, as you can see, to plug it so there's no water or whatever. Uh, that comes in so this is very important actually so I recommend you guys buy 10 millimeter uh, like a plug uh, so that's uh, very important so that's the bike overall maybe I've forgotten something but feel free to ask